Oke. Okay. Oke, okay. so I'm getting more and more inquiries uh, from uh, property buyers. Okay, why do I say property buyers? Because now in the market, right, the price is all time high. I'm, I we are going to hit right the highest peak. Maybe like highest record pick for non landed property for April index. So uh, you all will be thinking like, hey Aaron, you say that the market is going to turn and all these things. Huh? Don't be impatient. I still think it will happen, okay? And I still think it's going to happen soon, okay? So I think everything on it to hit the highest point before it turns, correct? So anyway, if you know the index very well, right, the uh, dates are actually exercise date. So if you buy the property, you basically buy it in, in the normal terms like 14 days before, 3 weeks before, 1 month before. Some people even do extension up to 2 months or 3 months. So the date that you see in the URL website is actually exercise date. So the date exercise in May doesn't mean that they sold in May. The date exercise in April doesn't mean they sold in April. They can already sold in February or March. So I think it's still very normal to see the index moving up. And uh, a lot of people, they when they see prices going up, right, they start to panic. And then they start to ask themselves, is this the right time to go into the property market? Actually, I attended to this question many, many times and I actually answered this question many, many times. But I feel that people still don't understand the property market well. I think the number one problem is the property market, right, is an ever-changing market and an ever-moving market. Ever-moving meaning that there's this thing called supply. There's this thing called the number of units selling. So in new launch, right, maybe today is uh, 500 units selling, then uh, next week is 400 units selling. The number of units selling actually change. So this market is not a market whereby you want to buy, you can buy. It's like today, if you go and look at Tesla stocks, they are at, let's say today they are at like a thousand dollars, okay? You want to buy at 880 or 890, it doesn't mean people will sell you, okay? But if you want to buy at 1000 and today is at 1000, yes, people will sell you. But this doesn't happen in the property market, guys. It doesn't happen in the property market. So if today, right, there is, it's even worse in the resale property. If today there is like 10 advertisements selling in a condo, it doesn't mean that all 10 units are selling at the market price. There's people that is selling at 1,100, 1,200 when the market price is only a thousand. So is this this market is not so simple. It requires uh, negotiation. Okay, the word negotiation is put in many different terms. La. You can say that negotiation is also like trying luck because when you negotiate, you get it or you don't get it. It doesn't mean you get it every time and it also doesn't mean that you forever don't get it. But there's one thing that we have to, I have to say in the property market is if you don't try, you don't get it. So this is why a lot of people, they don't understand the property market. They keep having the mindset, okay, now the current mindset for our property market is very bad. People keep having the, pro the mindset is, first of all, I tell you the number one group of people that shouldn't invest in condo or shouldn't buy condo. If you're looking for a big house, you want to find something that is cheap, you will always get something that is old. I say this two to three years ago in my first few videos. If you want big, you want cheap, you will definitely get something that's old. And if you want to earn money, then big, cheap and old doesn't help you earn money lah, guys. Wake up your idea. So, if you are from a HDB upgrader, right, or you are from a small condo unit, you have to understand that if today you are still looking for space, you can only buy like those old condos because they are big and they are cheap. And you say that, hey, I cannot buy new ones because the big ones are really too expensive. Then you, the last question is, please don't tell me you want to earn money. Because if you want to earn money, 
then I will tell you that big, cheap, and old doesn't help you earn money lah. So if today you say that, okay, you got a lot of money, 5 to 10 million, then I will tell you, go and get a free whole landed. Okay, I think uh, one of my customer big up, bring up a very good point. He says that the property uh, market, right, is make up of 50-50. Okay, he says that 50% is the land price. 50% is the structure price. Means the building, the facilities. Uh, of course, I will say that zero uh, percent is to your inside renovation, ah, because actually your renovation doesn't actually affect the valuation much. So I do agree with him. Whether is it 50, 50, 70, 30, I think it doesn't matter. But we have to understand that the the when you buy a resale property or when you buy a property, it's separate into two factors. One is land price. So if your value of the land keep increasing, yes, that's only maybe fifty percent of it. You get another half of it, which is structure, which is the 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 condition of the whole building. So I don't want to go too much into it. You want to know more, you can come to my seminar or you can engage me as your agent and I'll explain to you more. But the main thing is, this is a wrong mentality in the property market, okay? Then the second problem is, I always see husband and wife trying to come to a consensus, the husband are normally are normally are no no offense nothing to do with the the sex uh, the, the the male and female or guy and girl okay it's just that from my experience I realized that the guy is always the one talking about earn money earn money earn money earn money don't want to lose money but the lady is the one that say hey no no we need to stay here because our children did this we need to stay there because I like this location uh, this unit is not big enough uh, here got odd shape the size is very weird uh, the the angle of the house is very weird I don't like this I don't like that I cannot stay that location you know it's to the extent that I realize that the the lady has they buy the house uh, they buy using most lah uh, not all uh, most uh, they they buy house they use the the feeling. Like if they feel good about their house or they have some requirements that they need to achieve and their priority is never about money. So I have the guy that is trying to prioritize about money here then I have the lady not prioritizing about money. Then they always trying to come to a consensus and end up, right? They never buy anything. Lah. They still never buy. They end up at their parents' place or they rent out. At, they, they still end up renting. Then in the end, right? Something will happen, ah. something will happen. It's either they cannot stand it at the parents' place already, or they cannot rent anymore already, or the children's school uh, need to enroll already, then they will try to come to a consensus. So the consensus is either uh, somebody will either turn, you know, either way, okay? So this is the problem. This is the second biggest problem, okay? The third problem is many people, they, w they are in a... I, I wouldn't use the word FOMO mindset, but they are in the mindset whereby a lot of you actually sold your property away. But when you sell your property away, right, basically your idea was just to sell. You didn't do much planning and understanding. Why do I say that? Because I, I think that selling away your property now is a good idea. But selling away your property now without knowing what to do next or unclear about the market situation is a bad idea guys because i see a lot of people right they sell already they don't know what to do next they don't know what to buy next and even if and the idea of what they want to buy is either doesn't exist in the market or is they are just lost the the things that they want to buy in reality cannot find one the agent that they engage also don't care about what they want to buy next. Just tell them sell, 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 sell already. Then the agent just disappear. Then uh, they end up staying their parents' place on renting. Then maybe after months or years, then they start uh, panic. Then they start to look for me. Then sometimes because they are still in the midst of renting, sometimes they just move to a parents' place. They don't have much problems staying with the parents. They always have this like, uh, should I buy or should I not buy attitude? But their eventual, eventually, uh, their last resort is they need to buy. But they don't need to buy today. They don't need to buy in the next one month. They don't need to buy in the next two months. They don't need to buy three months. They will say things like, oh, I can buy in the next two years. I can buy in the next three years. Guys, if you can buy in the next one, two or three years, 
you, you will always have the mindset that today is a high market. If I don't buy today, I buy next year, price will be lower. If I buy the day later, uh, the, the, the year later, two years later, the price will be even lower. If you think that the market will crash like this, like from one year, two year, you can keep crashing, and you think that you will buy even lower, and you have time to wait, then please don't even consider entering the market. Because if you think that the market will drop, why do you even want to waste time to enter the market today? I give you all a very good example, okay, which is my own example. Why did I decide to buy today? It's because basically I found a good price and I found a good unit. I found a unit that's suitable for me and I realized I managed to negotiate and get it at a good price. The way I buy property is definitely different from the way you buy property. This is why you are not suitable to buy now. Because for me, right, is I can buy now, I can buy later. But if I can buy now, I don't mind buying now. I will buy now. I, I have everything ready to buy now. And I'm ready to look around to see the right unit and I'm going to go into it. I don't go for viewing every day and I... My wife is really very determined. Every day he will look into Property Guru. He will sort out. She will sort out the units and ask me how is it. She will tell me this is old one, this is new one. It's really a lot of effort on her side. My effort is really like an agent. I identify what is correct. I use my skills to negotiate for a good price. I go in and look at the unit and I and I identify what is a uh, can buy, what cannot buy, and what are some of the renovation that is actually on the lower cheaper side one means like hey, this is a small thing we can just remove it hey, you don't like blue color it's okay we can paint it so my job is just to share with her all this uh small nitty gritty to let her understand and make a better decision from them so are you that kind of people that believe that but i believe uh, i believe that i can still buy in today's market meaning that i'm not afraid to buy in today's market i don't believe that the condo that i want to buy the price will vary a lot in the next five years do you understand what i mean and i don't believe that i know what i want to buy i know there's about 60 units of what i want to buy and maybe uh, 20 over units has been transacted so they will definitely not sell in the next three years I know the remaining 40 units that is like low floor units that I won't buy. So I will only want to buy a certain level. So if I get it now, I will buy. You get it? You all understand? It's not something like... like I, You all basically don't know what you want to buy. You don't know which condo you want to buy. You don't know which location you want to buy. You don't know what is your purpose of buying. You cannot come to a consensus with your family member on whether you want money or you want... Uh, you want uh, the convenience or the, the, the you must stay here kind of thing. You know, this is a big problem in the current market, especially when the, it's on the high market. And I think this is normal because on the high market, these are the problems that will arise that will actually crash the market. It's like today in the stock and share market in US, right? It's crashing because the Federal Reserve just increased their interest again. And... Uh, I heard Amazon has dropped like 20 over percent, Apple dropped like 9% plus minus. So I know a lot of you are, has put a lot of money, especially during the COVID times. You all listen to investment YouTuber, you all attend course here and there, and then you all put a lot of money into the US uh, stock market. I'm not saying that investment is wrong, but I feel that you have to have the percentage correctly. The money that you put into the shares are money that you don't need. Meaning that if today I will want to buy property, I will know how much I need to buy that property and then the rest that I feel that I don't need, I will put it into my investment portfolio. I wouldn't have to think like if today I want to buy a house already, then I must think, hey, today I want to buy a house already, uh, I must liquidate my shares like. I think this is a totally wrong concept because if today the stock market is going down, then you want to buy a house already, then will you liquidate your shares? You won't, right? Because you will think that, hey, I need to wait for the market to go out there and liquidate. So does it mean that you have to buy later? 
because you have to buy when the shares go up then you buy then what will the property price be will the unit that you want disappear it's really wrong and different and it shows the the wrong understanding of the property market when you go into the property market the property market is about buying a specific item 8 floor, 9 floor, 10 floor, stack 22, stack 24, you are buying a specific item. You're not buying a category, guys. You're not buying a condo, condo, a HDB, HDB. You're buying to the condo where your condo is the one and only condo in Singapore or even the world because you are the only one on 0808. Uh, uh, 0808 Passerie Street 8 Poster Code This is a unique thing Only you have I tell you You can buy sh sh Shares and stock At $828 You are definitely Not the only one And uh, Everybody owns A Tesla Everybody owns A Google Everybody owns An Amazon That There is this possibility But And then you can Liquidate that easily But for Property is not And especially In Singapore Many of you Are buying to Stay Buying to stay, yet y'all want to invest, yet y'all cannot sacrifice one of the factor. My my last advice to you is don't invest in property. Because if you cannot sacrifice your needs and your wants and your staying factor, then don't sell away your HDB flat. Don't buy a condo. Go back to the HDB market. Because it doesn't mean today if you buy a condo, let's say you say you need to stay here, 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 blah, 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 and you buy that condo. You buy that condo because you need to stay here, blah, blah, blah. It's not because that condo will earn money. Okay? You have a high possibility that you won't earn money. So instead of taking 1.3 million to gamble, why don't you take 500,000 to gamble the HDB flat beside? If you have the money to gamble the 1.3 million, then good for you because my video now that I'm talking to you, if you say, Aaron, I can gamble 1.3 million, then this topic is definitely not for you because you are the person that have the capability to gamble 1.3 million. I'm talking to people that try to upgrade from HDB to condo or trying to upgrade from condo to condo to a bigger condo, but they are, they are afraid. Of all these factors if you're afraid of all these factors there's only two ways you can go buy a HDB or you got enough money buy a landed freehold because these two are uh, definitely a safer bet than going to anyhow buy a condo because I'm seeing many people that is anyhow buying a condo now everything also can buy just because the school is there la. Uh, the mother stay there la. then they buy here and there la. but the thing is I always thought that buying a condo is about investment I always thought that buying a condo is because we want to earn money but this factor has already been uh, I would say uh, blur people are buying for the sake of buying now I don't know why, but maybe due to the trend and the education in the market, people are buying condo because they always think that a HDB will lose money, condo earn money. But it's not true that all condos earn money. So that's it for today's video. I don't want to say anymore. I hope you understand because I'm getting more and more inquiries like this. I'm getting more and more people that is very confused with the current property market. That's very confused with what they should do next. And... I think this is a big, big problem that is hitting the market, especially at today. We are going to break Singapore history record price for resale non-landed. Hit the like button, subscribe button. and uh, Anyway, I think the property seminar is going to be fully subscribed. So uh, I will be messaging those first few people that register and uh, send you the payment uh, instruction and everything. Okay, so that's it. <sighs> Hope this video helped you and bye-bye.